I am back home on a week-long break. I'm down in my workshop, and I have a pair of small TVs. The one in frame is a 5-inch black-and-white portable TV, and the one over here, which is connected to the camera and does that trippy tunnel to infinity effect, like that, is a color 5-inch TV. Both of these I picked up at a recycle yard for free. Both work, except, well, the color one has found a nice home as a monitor for the camera, so even if I'm not looking at the screen on the camera, I can still tell what I'm focused on and what's in frame. But the black and white one over here is slightly less useful. It's a bit more beat up, it's a bit cheaper quality than the color one, and I need some of its internals. So I've already opened it carefully. Not that there was much to open, it pretty much fell apart as soon as I undid the screws. Took out the flyback, which used to be here, and the flyback is now right here on the insides of my little plasma globe. So, zoom in a bit. Yeah, there is the flyback out of the TV. If you look, it's exactly the same core size and winding size as the one out of the plasma globe. Both run on 12 volts, and the only major difference is the physical one. The lead comes out of the TV one on the side and comes out the top of the plasma globe one, and the plasma globe one is likely AC, and this is DC because it's running a TV. But, I have a pair of tiny flybacks. I'm hoping I won't have to, but for the project I gutted this one out for, I might also need to get the core off of the flyback from the plasma globe here. But hopefully I'll be able to pull it off with just this one small core. That is all for the first video back. Thanks for watching.